Hello, hello, everyone. All right, I'm gonna start out with some, some interesting music. So some oldies, back to the 80s, <laughs> oldies. Uh, the Bangles, just another manic Monday, uh, as well as uh, Walk Like an Egyptian. You also get the 99 Luft Balloons, the German version. And then the weirdest thing is I have like Nintendo Mario Brothers stuff going on. So if y'all like playing that, I don't even know what, who sign this is for. I see Aquarius under there and Libra. Weird. Capricorn. Dang. Okay. So I'm going to shuffle it and see who's, so it is the new moon when I'm doing this. Um, particular video, planting new seeds, something new, whatever. That's interesting. Maybe I'll go play some Mario. <laughs> like, dang. I've been playing the Final Fantasy, guys. The Final Fantasy 16. Holy crap, that's some crazy shit. Saturn. Capricorn. I just probably did a... This is about rules, structure, feeling restricted. See, like that song. It's just another manic Monday. So you gotta go out and work. I feel like there's even long distance travel. Face to face, you gotta chat there's teaching possibly structure rules uh management you know one a brand new beginning even aries and capricorn energy and sagittarius with that very interesting okay feeling restricted libra uh, still underneath there so maybe libra energy libra suns dealing with capricorn or having capricorn oh and sagittarius dang Abundance and wisdom, the nines, 10-9, nine. um, 718, 719 being spotlighted, and the Neptune, the Pisces energy coming out of any type of an illusion about wisdom, abundance. Um, this is, things will, this grows. So this clarity I see will grow. 318, Pisces energy, there's Gemini Pisces there too, and Sagittarius, 3-9. Scorpio behind the Gemini energy. Interesting. Okay, I'm going to get one more for the moon energy. So right now this might be specific for Libra sun signs. Maybe you have Capricorn in your chart or you, just where your Saturn is. Maybe Saturn return type stuff. I don't know. Just feeling kind of restricted. Needing to follow rules, regulations, order, structure. This is really interesting because it is with balance. Do you know what I mean? The order and the structure, the justice, the fairness. Huh. Interesting. Okay, two coming out. Mercury and fire signs. Communication with fire signs. What did that be? I got the 15 and the 23. So some of you having fire in uh, fire moons in specific. Mercury connecting your moon, possibly even this communication being very fiery and passionate, childlike, even a uh, change in your creativity. Six five Gemini energy, 11s. Hmm, okay. Fire sign moons. I'm not going to specify if it's Aries Leo Sag, just maybe a fire sign moons. So this one definitely not for me. I'm an earth sign moon. Fire is in my my Mars, but in Mercury it's Scorpio. So this is definitely not me. I am so Capricorn. <laughs> um, let's just put you right here. Let's just put you right here, Gabby. Oh, look, you fell behind. Oh no. Oh no. I've rescued you. It's okay. You were behind on something, right? You were a little late to the party or something. <laughs> I don't know. Taurus is under there too. 210. Aquarius energy is maybe in February. I don't even know. The 10. 1010 10 labor energy. 1019. 1015. Ah. 107. 107. 119. 115. One. Wait, 1023. That's moving into that. Scorpio. Taurus too. 223. Okay, those are just different ones. I don't even know. I just thought that was fun. I'm gonna, oh, let's get some tea leaves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, this is how I do it. I've already shuffled all these. 
Oh, that kind of flipped over. Let's just grab that one. This little stack that flipped over and let's flow it through. Muddled or unclear thinking, the forest. So this makes me think of archetypes. Maybe I'll pull it with that, but this is also getting lost, right? Um, there's fear too, feeling like uh, losing your navigation. Cobweb. Okay, but this is good. This is protected from negative forces beyond your control. So knowing that you're protected the boot. Oh, wow. Increase your efforts if you want to achieve your goals. You got to increase your efforts. Right. But look, slowly but surely getting ahead. So there's that Taurus energy, right? The tortoise also taking things slow. And it's telling you to, it's time to bump it up. It's like you taking bigger steps, more steps. It doesn't have to be slowly but surely getting ahead. That was in reverse. The boot was in reverse, so. The horseshoe. No way. There's like cowboy stuff with this. Yeehaw, y'all. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, the cowboy boot really makes me think of, like, these boots are made for walking. That's just what they'll do. That's not a really happy song, though. Slowly but surely getting ahead. Cam FDM has a really great version of it. <laughs> if you like that kind of music. Good luck. Good luck, Capricorns. Uh, good luck dealing with this communication even with your with father energy I'm saying um, authority shield oh my goodness someone is blocked right you need to defend yourself oh my goodness Libras you're gonna have to com defend yourself protect yourself your communication your writing your thoughts uh, structure because there is news of a birth or a new business opportunity so I'm seeing this as especially dealing with fire energy new creative venture so whether this be children you need to protect yourself because of uh, finding out about a child um, maybe it's a fire sign child this is going to be very emotional. There was like passion with that. So there's a lot of that Leo energy. But this is also creating something new. So Aries energy. I'm really not pulling too much Sag. Which is weird because whatever. Interesting how many cards we got. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No way. The seven. <sighs> Dealing with partnership. Um, business stuff so if you're starting a new business it's like protect yourself with like legal stuff um there's laws and in, in, in force so that people aren't like stealing your your ideas your business stuff also protecting um you know children hmm that's interesting okay Libra. <laughs> News of a birth or a new business opportunity. I'm going to get some tell of tarot, tarot of tells. Knight of Cups. Oh my gosh, this is like some, uh, this is a congratulations. There might be a little unclear thinking because um, this is loving, compassion. Kind of like whirlwind. Love, compassion could be emotional. Uh, even apologies coming through. Oh, from a Leo or someone finally having some strength. Um, they had to let go of some money or an opportunity, a job. Yeah, increase your efforts if you want to achieve your goals. Negative forces. You have this, even a Leo could be protecting you from negative forces beyond your control. Huh. Seven. A lot of that. Interesting. I'm going to flow through. So needing to increase your efforts for this job, for this this money, to have extra income. A decision is made, especially in Taurus season or dealing with Taurus, taking things slowly but surely, getting ahead, making that decision and taking the action even if it's slow. 210. 102. Hmm. So there was a complete ending of a trail. Good luck, horseshoe.
that it's over though and uh there's a brand new world and you need to defend it and protect yourself this, this communication with your writing with your i mean i was like music whatever mercury is communication whether it be writing it down your thoughts huh about a whole new world 621 1021 libra cost energy huh this is defending yourself on this brand new adventure. This is a completion of something. You see, they're going on it. This world is seeing the cave drawings. Okay, the cave, the song, The Bangles, talks about the cave drawings. And they're going in this cave. Someone's not going to be able to help and work on this. Because may, may, possibly uh, they, are, they had a child or a baby, so they can't work. They can't do the work. Someone's not willing to work. Yeah, they can't work with you, collaborate with you. Something like that, not willing to work. And it's someone from your ha your family, your home. They're not willing to work with you. Well. <sighs> they're really unhappy. They don't feel fulfilled or you don't. They don't feel surrounded and by... <sighs> they don't feel happy or victorious. 6, 6, 10, 106. 3, 10, 3, 6. Scorpio. Something ended. Someone changed. Someone transformed. Someone even could have passed away, okay, if you're not dealing with Scorpio. Um, but they've transformed. This king of coins is upright. So Capricorn masculine energy. Uh, could be Taurus or Virgo, but the, he's upright holding it, like knowing how to create and manifest. Oh, but he's still like, look, he's still kind of hoarding, like knowing there's a time of holding on to something. If someone's like holding on to someone's money, even a child's money. A, a Taurus or Virgo child. Virgo child specifically. To, while they're doing some studies or trying to feel enlightened. So to, to prevent the, a tower moment from happening. A loss, a huge loss of a business, of coins, inheritance. Someone trying to multi and have some shit. Okay, I'm going to flow it through one more time. Libra. Okay, Libras. So Capricorn, Libra Leos, uh, Scorpio, Seaman, possibly. Um, communication, Virgo, and uh, Gemini energy, right? And then the fire signs. Maybe it's very specific for Leo, but whatever. I'm going to flow it through. Okay, here we go. Libra, psychology. Oh, this is new love or even reconcealing love like someone coming in and being very loving compassionate this is honest though these are good this could be you doing this being a loving and compassionate and understanding having the strength new love even if and it's about maybe your work not working um wow this is focused on work or i mean excuse me this reading apparently is focused on love and not money not work, um, not coins. This is about love. Ah, uh, there's apathy and boredom with work. Um, with not knowing where to, with some type of project. <clears throat> a decision is made to have a new adventure <laughs> and be foolish. They're jumping in, but slowly. So Aries Taurus energy right there. A decision made to see the world is here again. Seeing a whole new world. This is, I was even thinking this fearlessness. Okay, the Leo, like that. Even the children who like have no fear, they'll like run straight into. So it has this foolishness, the Aries energy, but, but Leo too and Taurus. Interesting. So a decision is made 
to move like because something i mean whatever this ending is it had to do oh maybe another king of wands or it is daily one for fire sign <laughs> um he's there's something ended oh things were not fair and balanced um the, when the king's upside down he's he's lost power and he's off in night action he's running around and he's not having moderation sagittarius energy with this too but it could be aries or leo masculine oh i flipped it the right way let's see it just kind of fell over yeah he like took off thinking that things were not fair went and giving giving gifts somewhere else or something feeling like someone was not like they're not it's like someone left because they they realized someone wasn't a soulmate or something it was even pisces energy because we got more water energy here but this is young even your children could be a pisces or a cancer or scorpionic but see you have that coming in both ways i see the virgo energy someone feeling stuck so king of swords was good luck right Someone was a little pissed off about some structure, some rules, some something. Huh. So I turn him up right though. Still, someone needs to defend themselves for this new, this whole new world, right? The, the things were not fair. Maybe there is communication about this is could be monetary stuff or uh, stuff like that. Even a, a soulmate. Someone sees a whole new world. But the soulmate doesn't isn't part of it. It's like Capricorn's like overseeing. See, we got someone even being loving and compassionate. And maybe it's you, Libra, or it is a child of yours, or something like that. Being understanding about not being able to do this work, not being able to work, feeling stuck. Even someone gets stuck caught not not having their wishes fulfilled and it could be a virgo because that's the hangman energy right not feeling like see someone there's this apathy boredom not feeling like they're getting their wishes fulfilled just feeling like someone gets stuck trying to see some a different perspective i think that's what it is too they see a different perspective and so there's understanding and compassion about not being not being foolish and running around and being a player. Mm, maybe there was like a karmic type thing they 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 see. Hmm. Such young, whether it be Aries or Leo. There's the loss. They they feel left out in the cold. Five five. Dang, you get the fives. There was fighting and competition. Someone even could have left because there, there could have been physical fighting but, or just feeling like there was someone took off because there's competition. They felt left out in the cold. Maybe they didn't have funds. They could have lost money. Five, five, five. Are you kidding me? You got five, five, five. All three fives, guys. What time is it? 1830. Fighting, competing, thinking things are not fair with the give and take. Uh, someone thinking they're at war they were their soulmate and now they're left stuck in their head it's like a whirlwind romance type thing it's like a passionate fiery thing stuck in their head trying to figure out what to do now about this news oh my goodness about a birth or a pregnancy or a new business a party a reconciliation a get together so this isn't about working this is about a good time that's what i also see because ten of wands is in reverse and three coins is in reverse this has nothing to do with a work get together or a work party so if that's what it was said it, it had something maybe they're people that you used to work with but it has nothing to do with work it's party celebration get together there's taurus energy there's pisces there the eel, the electric eel, maybe Aquarius even, another fish, everyone having some tea. Now the other five, three, five, five, three, 53. So this get together, this party celebration, we, it leaves someone feeling very depressed, 
and sad. And it could be children. Um, oh, I'm just flowing it through. Okay, I got it over here by someone feels stuck like they, they can't go even or something like it. Because of people that are going to be there. 512, Virgo, Taurus. So this hangman, someone gets stuck in seeing it. See, it's a karmic thing, but this wheel is spinning on the upright. So this Virgo is seeing like this stop. I'm seeing the bat like seeing like wings out ready to fly on the top. 10 maybe at 12 10 5 10 and then this nine of cups this complete unhappiness has to do with fit with friends family uh, feeling like you're not supported you're not loved they're not loved they don't feel victorious like they can't take action and run around and do what they want um someone transformed Maybe someone put these rules down. Oh, that's what it is. There's restrictions now. And whether they, you're dealing with Scorpio. Oh, someone be, might be sneaky. Running away from death from a Scorpio. 713. 47. Someone is hiding this competition or this fighting. Something ended, transformed. And someone could have lost money. The King of Wands was in reverse, right? And then he transformed and came back up, right? But what is this competition and fighting? It has to do with Virgo, Taurus, or Gemini. Um, not feeling connected. This is the chaos in the head. Not knowing how to... Not having that clarity of how to move because there's deception. Someone's not being completely honest. 2 5 25. 2 25. Whoa. And maybe it's Virgo Taurus specifically. So we've got this party, this celebration, a get together, right? With a earth sign energy, fire sign, whatever. Capricorn. Virgo, someone who's holding coins, they're holding the money, someone's even holding someone's money, like I'm saying, that Taurus energy, there is a little bit of greediness, it looks like, 5'4", five, 5'10", five, immature and very slow, like they're not hardly offering anything, and some of them, some of you, it's a mother, an empress, a wife, Taurus Libra, Aries, a part of family, or a friend she's in reverse not feeling victorious like someone has been emotionally attached that's the thing this transformation is they've emotionally detached and they're walking away like you see the skeleton walking away in secret even no way with virgo virgo there's this trying to find some enlightenment here what is this the hermit and nine seven nine the tower in reverse again this hasn't happened. This hasn't come in yet. Someone hasn't seen this clarity. Hasn't had the clarity. A huge loss of money. A business even. That they're holding on to. It's like someone's trying not to lose this business. This this job. This legacy. But they know they gotta move forward. Okay, that's some crazy stuff. Rose Capricorns. What are we on time? 2408. I, I just like flowing it through. I'm going to flow it through one more time and then see if we can stop. So let's move forward. Someone doesn't have the clarity about this uh, this Virgo energy yet. Um, about someone getting caught. Someone doesn't know about someone getting caught. Or having this good karma, this will of fortune. Um, maybe it's... Uh, a Sagittarius even, but someone's needing to have this moderation. Balance. You got Sagittarius then Gemini. So this Empress energy can even be a feminine, like a mother, a, a Gemini. Or a Sag the Sagittarius energy is trying to have balance, moderation. Not overindulging. 
even though there's boredom and apathy, trying to be clear headed. But this Empress and this Gemini, oh, and lovers in reverse. So, Libra. Huh. I also see Justice in reverse and Seven of Cups upright. So, Libra Gemini energy is really strong not being able to create and manifest and become and feel successful even empress energy is not feeling love emotionally detached thinking things are not fair there is and then seeing clarity on it why did the gemini energy lovers in reverse something transformed the love like ended with something huh King of Wands was in reverse too. Huh. You guys see the Hermit, someone's trying to go in and try and get clarity, you know? But they think that things are not fair. It's like they're trying to understand how this could be so unfair. It's that song. Um, is it Death Cab for Cutie? And Black Sun. I think that's the name of the song. And it talks about, like, why something that's so fair feels so unfair. Something like that. Someone was doing some, some gossip, some stalking, spying. I don't know that it's gossip. It might be underhanded and that comes to light even. It gives clarity. Mm. Someone's going to get this clarity instantly. There's no more illusion with this. Or no, no, no. This is looking at options of what to do. That's why there's not clarity. Sorry, it's not. It's not clear yet. See, there's just stalking, spying. This is looking in on, but not seeing anything of value. Not seeing an offer. Waiting for an offer. Like this fox is still waiting. It's like them looking at investments. Someone's looking at your investments, even. The Queen of Wands, <laughs> Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, feminine, upright. She's waiting patiently. She feels stuck, like she can't move till these investments. Yeah, it's a Leo. Um, and then she can break free and have clarity and be done with juggling. Let go of Capricorn energy or toxic stuff. Trying to control everything, uh, anxiety, fear over heartbreak, um, staying up late, arguing, fighting, third party energy, king of swords in reverse, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, masculine, cutting, rude, heartbreak. Mm. Someone's putting their defenses down and just focused on like creating wealth, Capricorn, Virgo, feminine. They're done with resting. They've like they've unblocked things. They're done healing. They're gonna communicate clearly. It might be really cutting and kind of rude, coming in quickly uh, about a boss, about an emperor, about Aries, Taurus, Capricorn, even Taurus, and Queen of Swords in reverse. Someone taking some action, but they're at a crossroads. Chiron. Because they're not getting the gift. Like, they're, they're not the money. They're not getting the money they were hoping for. I don't know. Weird. 2907. Let's just see. So, we got Libra, Capricorn. I don't remember what's over there. Prince of Spring. Charming. Oh, look. Immediate action. A challenge you can successfully manage. Passionate relationship. So, this is the, you know, that night energy coming in quickly. Passionate with the bunny. By your side and then you got the queen of autumn there too so this is that taurus capricorn feminine there's also libra with that being practical with respect to how you proceed the ability to make anything more beautiful meeting someone who can help your dreams come true see they'll help you this is an empress energy even though this is an empress card hmm libra capricorn virgo possibly 
Maybe Taurus. Okay. All right. So the fairy tarot. Let's see what else. Moving forward. Not speaking honestly. <laughs> Someone's just moving on. Getting out of being stuck in their head. Even without having the clarity. It's like... It's almost like realizing something. No way. The Virgo. <laughs> the Virgo mode. This one came through a lot. Find or be a mentor. Take a break from society. A commitment to your spiritual growth. I really think that Aries got this too. Aries Virgo. So someone's moving forward. Maybe even successfully graduating and moving forward. Either going to be a mentor or find a mentor, right? Um, to get this clarity. King of Winter. Okay, so that also could be Libra, Aquarius, or... Uh, Gemini energy, but this is someone who is going to be detached, knowledgeable, experienced, fair-minded. They could, there could be that Virgo or Capricorn even. Um, public speaking, a very, Gemini, <laughs> Taurus, unemotional relationship. This is a neutral person. So finding this mentor or being one and giving neutral, giving advice, communication. Mercury is there about love, about legal stuff about finances about a party about a celebration about moderation about a Sagittarius news we're celebrating announcements such as wedding graduation or birth friend you cherish see this party the celebration you got there was like news of a birth right um hmm someone hasn't this communication hasn't come in yet though three three no, three, eight, nine, three. So someone's communicating with someone else about what to do regarding a new business or a pregnancy, graduating. Sudden events or changes. It's going to affect being able to manifest or create something. It's going to affect love, apparently. A renewal, 820. Review the past. And the present, so you can plan a bright new future. Understanding your life purpose, releasing judgments of yourself and others. Hmm. 620. The 20th. 820. Okay, so looking back at the past. And then, uh, you know, you learn from it. Learn from the past. And then move forward to plan for the future. Okay, what else? Oh, especially by the Capricorn energy. The High Priestess. Okay, we got High Priestess now. She upright. Trusting your intuition. Careful reflection before taking action. Insights that come through meditation. This is getting grounded. This is taking the time away, doing the research. Trusting how you're guided, right? King of Summers in reverse. So someone feels like things were not fair, right? Someone, Someone's trusting their intuition and sensing they're not getting this communication from about creating and manifesting something together or whatever. Gemini energy, the Virgo. Someone does not feel successful or victorious. We've also got the King of Summer in reverse. So Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Um... In reverse, I'm going to say there's Libra energy, too, feeling like things are not fair. Um, could be overindulgence, emotional manipulation, heavy emotions, not, not wanting to be involved. And the sun in reverse. So unhappiness, feeling like things don't work out as planned, <laughs> and feeling very ungrateful. They're in an illusion, even looking at their options on how to move forward with something. The 19, 10, 19, Libras. What else? One more, like this one, Princess of Autumn. So we've got that Virgo or Capricorn feminine energy to still, but this is the younger um, feminine energy. That's This is happy news about your career, promotion, or a scholarship even. Ah, well thought out plans that go perfectly. Needing a little push to get going. Huh. Okay. Wow. And then I see there's this loving compassion. The princesses. Oh, the young princesses. 
but they're upright, being helpful, learning, uh, compassionate, understanding, and grasping it. Even though there is a Pisces dreamer energy, right? Embrace your true purpose. Begin a new adventure. Trust yourself. See, they're like making their way to this tower. <laughs> a new adventure. Huh. Okay, let's get a magical times change. You are transforming. Let go of the past. Embrace the light and joy of this new day. Change and clarity. Banish the fog of illusion. There's Sagittarius energy with this too and Scorpio. Open your eyes to the truth. Remember the perfection of who you are. Nature. Nature or nurture? So it said to go out into nature, but it was in reverse. So we'll see. All right, I'm going to upload the magical and times enchanted for Libra energy, Libra suns, Virgo, Libra, whatever. Past energies even. Gentleness. Strength. We got the Leo energy too. Strength is gentle. True kindness has wings. Love in action endures. Okay. This communication, this neutral party, maybe even uh, Libra masculine is this, you know, a neutral party. Partnership. Or maybe it's about partnership. <laughs> Learn to grow with others. Right? Overcome obstacles by working together. Touch each other's hearts while life lasts. We've got the dragonflies again. Pay attention to the subtleties. Look with new eyes. There are signs and omens everywhere. Hmm. This news, graduation, birth, the celebration, this party. Hmm. I'm seeing using humor and change. All right. So this communication, the blocked communication. Maybe dealing with Gemini or not being able to create something. Prosperity. Focus on the positive and more good things will come. Give thanks for blessings. They will multiply. Prosperity begins in the mind. The mind. Karis one. The mind. Especially even with the communication. Believing. Someone's not believing. I really don't like when the Gemini energy is the magicians in reverse because sometimes it might be people are trying to do underhanded dealings. I don't like that. Um, or they're just feeling powerless. Dreamer. There's Pisces Sagittarius with that too. Your dreams have chosen you. Find fulfillment in pursuing your destiny. This is the magic of life. All right. High Priestess, trusting your intuition over the Capricorn, especially if you're dealing with a masculine, your opposite, <laughs> Cancer or Scorpio, Pisces, whatever. The communication. Sanctuary. See, you need to do this. The meditation. Embrace the need for solitude. Your inner sanctuary calls you. Renew yourself in threat. All right, let's see about this communication even. Uh, it's creation. Oh, this communication about creation. It, I'm, it's either about a new business or a baby, right? Remember your thoughts shape your future. Your words create today. Your choices become your reality. Communication. The hummingbird is, for me, pulls Aquarius, Libra energy, Aries energy, but the Gemini Virgo too. Okay, this one. Power. Hmm. Call upon the elements. Focus your intentions. The greatest dragon is within you. Especially if you have Leo sun or Leo moons. You have Leo moon, the fire moon, yeah. And Sagittarius moon. All right. Princess of Autumn. Who you there too? A rebirth. The phoenix. No matter what happens, you can find new wings. Rise from the past. Accept the positive change that is coming, right? Being a little push, well thought out plans, and promotion even, metamorphosis. Wow, we got a lot of Scorpionic with this too. Trust the process and be patient. Becoming cannot be rushed. Change is beautiful. I told you there's this transformation. It's so crazy because that Final Fantasy, okay, there's names on that. Jill, 
<laughs> double jails. <laughs> and, um, gosh, I'm trying to think of what else the, the other names are. But the Final Fantasy game, 16. There's the Phoenix, and it's like the young boy. And then there's all the other. Anyways, it made me think of it. Because it's the Phoenix, the icons, the something like that. Video games, we start with video games. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Got you nine cards, nine card spread. And underneath it though, there's strength. So we're gonna finish it with the 10. You have courage, you can endure. Find your center and spiral into your power. So we got the polar bear. So mystic as well. I see Sagittarius energies, Leo, a Libra, and Aries. Um, this always makes me think of Lateralis. I love this song. I could, you just listen to that and you just, I don't know. It's great. Also reflection. You have courage. You can endure. The snowflake was important for some reason. Um, I was thinking about snowflakes, um, how they're unique and they're, when you think about it, you know, they're just gentle and they float, right? And just a few of them, but isn't that, but you shouldn't overestimate the power of snowflakes, snow, you know what I mean? There's, there's this uniqueness and delicate beauty but when they come together and if they if it comes strong, they will uh, bury you alive. So whatever that means for you. All right, thanks so much. Hope you enjoyed. Bye bye.